welcome to the C3 Cyber Club training video. Hey guys, it's uh, me, Sean, from uh, C3 Cyber Club. This is our first video online tutorial for uh, Planet Mart Sandbox for our video game design class. Uh, I just want to apologize for the, uh, the cheesy vi intro video that you guys just saw, but hopefully it got your interest. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just learn about basic 3D modeling uh, in Platinum Art Sandbox. So this is your first time with the software. Uh, this is a great video to check out. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to actually get out of this uh, level right here. This is one of the default levels that uh, Platinum Art Sandbox starts you out with. But we're just going to make a brand new one from scratch. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just press E on my keyboard. Uh, this brings up the edit mode and it gives us a lot of different options. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just press escape on your keyboard. And uh, here we have a lot of various options right here. So if you don't press E, what you'll see is just um, some more basic options. So as long as you press E, you'll see a uh, new map, save map, which are very important for what we're doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new map. And uh, this gives us our size. So right now it's telling us our size is 10. Uh, if we click and drag it, uh, we can go up to 16. I don't recommend doing 16 just because it's so big, it's so massive. It's going to take such a long time for you to get to the other side of your map. And for what we're doing, 10 should be uh, good. So we're going to go ahead and just say 10 and click on New Map. And so this is what we're uh, looking at right now. We have just a blank canvas uh, to kind of design our map. Uh, looks like a desert here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to build a house for our very first uh, project. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, let's go over the basic controls. So I'm going to go ahead and press E. This is the game mode right now. You can usually tell uh, if you see this little cursor here. And I'm using uh, Platinum Art Sandbox 2.7.1. So if you're using an older version, you're not going to see this on here. But you're still going to be able to do the same things I'm doing. Okay. So uh, the first person controls uh, for this uh, particular game are uh, forward, uh, back, left, right. And that's using your arrow keys on your keyboard. So down, left, right, is to move your character, uh, and you use your mouse to control the uh, movement of your head. So it's the combination of using the mouse and the keyboard at the same time to maneuver around your environment. Okay? Uh, if you're used to, used to first person controls, you can also do W, A, S, and D to do the same exact thing. Uh, spacebar allows you to jump. Uh, you can also right click your mouse to jump. Uh, if you were to fall off the edge of your map, you just press spacebar to bring them back to life. Uh, you can use your scroll wheel, scroll wheel here uh, to kind of zoom in, zoom out. And uh, that's just sort of the basic controls right there. So uh, let's get into the edit mode. So we press E. Uh, this brings up our edit mode. This is how we basically design our game. Uh, we're always going to be in this mode. This is how you can change the geometry, entities, texturing, particles, all sorts of really cool stuff. And you also see a little brush here. This is what we call our grid. Uh, so first thing we want to do is we want to get into an area view. Uh, uh, this is a really great view to get into when you're designing stuff in 3D. Uh, if you're building stuff from really low to the ground, it's just much, much harder. So do yourself a favor and just get a little bit farther out, like a bird's eye view. And this is pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we want to hold down G, G for grid, and uh, we're going to use our scroll wheel. So I'm holding down G on my keyboard, and I'm using my scroll wheel right now. I'm just making my grid bigger or smaller, okay? And you'll notice here on the left-hand side uh, some text here. Uh, it's green. It's like grid size, size 7. That's the size we want to work at, so size 7. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to left-click on my mouse, and I'm going to make my house three grids wide and two grids long just like that and now that I have the area selected I just let go of my mouse and now I use my scroll wheel I'm just going to move it up and perfect that's good so we have something just like this so now that you have something like this we need to go ahead and we need to start carving out our house so I want to go ahead and hold down G again make my grid size a little bit smaller and uh, I'm going to do uh, grid size three uh, you don't want to do anything super small. Uh, the reason why is that the game's going to just take longer to load and process because you have all these little individual grids that you're using to model your environment. So as long as you don't have to go that small, I would probably just stick with uh, something around size 3. I think that's the default. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of select this area right here and I'm going to push it away. But uh, there's two ways to do it. Either I can click and drag like this, and if you make a selection you don't like it, just press spacebar kind of gets rid of it, just deselects it. We're going to cover away this wall right here. So what I need to do is I need to leave a little lip or an edge here. Okay, just like that. And I'm just going to kind of go over here and select it. Just like that. So there's a little bit of an edge here. Okay. Now another way to do it, uh, which is much easier, is left clicking and right clicking. You can left click in your mouse 
And what you're going to do is go to the exact opposite side, which will be right over here. So here's the exact opposite side of my house. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on my mouse right here. So what it does is it selects everything in between. It's much, much easier to select uh, bigger areas. So make sure you do yourself a favor and just start sticking with that method. You'll start designing your levels much, much quicker. So now that we have this area selected, uh, we're going to use our scroll wheel just carve it away, just like that. And uh, if we go far, too far, uh, we have a little open skylight there. Uh, we will kind of bring that back. So just use your scroll wheel. Perfect. Now what we want to do is build the rest of the wall. So we have a fourth wall right here. So I'm going to left click, right click on my mouse. There we go. Here's my other wall. All right. So we got all four walls, and now we need a place to. Uh, we need a way to get inside the house, right? So let's go ahead and make a door. And uh, here we go. So here's my selection for the door. Just push it away. And now I'm going to go ahead and press E to kind of test out what I just designed. And uh, nice, very spacious. Um, the walls are made out of dirt. The floor is made out of dirt. Uh, so I can't really recommend this as a five-star hotel. But uh, later on, when we start getting to texturing, uh, we'll learn how to make our uh, house a lot better looking and somewhere where somebody would want to live in. So uh, let's get into some other modeling techniques before we even do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press E. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some windows here. Add some light. Here we go. Pretty good. And maybe I'll just put one right up here just for some extra light. Okay, that's good. All right, so now I got some windows. I got a door here. Um, now I'm going to make the roof of my house. So the way to make the roof is we're going to go ahead and learn a brand new tool. Uh, first of all, we're going to make our grid size uh, back to size 7. So you always want to make sure you remember that grid size. Uh, keep it in the back of your head because it's going to come in handy uh, when you need to make adjustments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just push this up just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is push in what we call the vertices, or these corners right here, so we can make sort of an edge slope, so we don't have just a standard box. So the way to do that is we hold down Q on our keyboard, and uh, we're going to use our scroll wheel. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of look here in the corner, the vertice or the edge uh, that we're going to push in. So I'm going to go ahead and just look at it, and use my scroll wheel, and I'm just slowly pushing it back, just like that. So you push it back all the way. There we go. So that's one side. You notice it did it to everything else that was selected. So if you have multiple areas selected, it's going to push everything back at the same time. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Push this away. So now we have a perfectly nice sloped edge. Pretty sweet. Now we'll do the same thing over here. So I'm going to go ahead and build up this wall. And it looks like a little bit have extra room right here. We'll get rid of that later on. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this side. Now I'm going to go ahead and hold down Q, push away this corner, push that away this corner, and now got a perfectly nice smooth uh, roof here. And uh, I'm just going to kind of get rid of my uh, wall here. I don't really need this right now. Let's go ahead and just select that, push it away. We're going to kind of build our wall right here so everything's really nice and even. Perfect. Okay, so I go to edit mode, or I'm actually in game mode right now. Look, looks like things are looking pretty good. All right, now I want to start maybe making uh, some mountains outside here, out of my house. So this is another modeling technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just press H on my keyboard. Uh, you'll notice that my grid size turns green. Uh, that means we're in height map mode right now. So I can just go ahead, uh, and I'm not going to even select any uh, area. I'm just going to go ahead and use my scroll wheel, and I'm just sort of painting directly onto the terrain. So you're just painting where you want mountains at. Or I can push them down and make like a ditch. It's all up to you. Now these are kind of small, and it's going to take me forever just to really make mountains. So what I can do is uh, I can make my grid size even bigger. So depending on the size of your grid will also affect the size of your mountains. So there we go, much, much bigger. There we go. Now, Oops, now it looks like I made a mistake here. It looks like my mountain went right into my house. Uh, it's not very good. So what we need to do is we need to undo that. So we can press Z to undo. And uh, you can keep pressing Z. Uh, I think it saves about 30 steps or so. And um, to prevent this from happening again, what we can do is we can make a selection and make our mounds just in that particular area. So now that I've made my selection here, I'm going to go ahead and press H. And now when I make mounds, they don't go past this little threshold right here. So this is really, really helpful 
uh, if you don't want to affect the other sort of models that you have in the game. Also, um, it's helpful if you want to kind of make like a cave and uh, you have an area right here, maybe the side of our house, we want it to kind of be more a little organic uh, in shape. So we can kind of just push out here and now we have more of a uh, sloped wall. Okay, just like that. But I'm going to go back to normal. So I'm going to go ahead and press, press Z to undo. And there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead into my house here. Let me just add one more detail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add, for example, like a desk. So I'm going to go ahead and make my grid size pretty small here because I'm going to make finer details. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little area right here. Push it up. I'm going to select the rest of it. So if you were to make, a, like a, for example, a uh, platform game like Mario, uh, what you can do is you make a floating platform. So I just select the bottom of it and I just push it away. And now you notice I have a floating platform. Pretty cool, and even jump on it too. Okay, but uh, we're making a desk. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the corners here, kind of just push it down. We're making the legs of the table here, like that. And then one of the great things is we have these little guidelines that kind of tell us exactly where it's going to line up uh, when it hits the ground here. So I'm going to just push it down, and let's just do it right here. Okay, so I have a nice little desk. Uh, it's a little big for me. Uh, maybe we need to put it, maybe the human character in here. There we go. It's a, l a little bit better. Not not perfect. Um, so now that I made this uh, furniture in the uh, the room here, I can actually copy it. Uh, so what I can do is select this corner, and what I'm going to do is select the very opposite side. So that would be actually over here, and actually on the bottom. So now I have this whole area selected. So I left click and right click. Now I press C to copy. Now I'm going to click on the ground when I add a new one and just press V to paste. So you notice I have a new one. Now, it's not lining up correctly. The way that it was sets it up is it's going to set up by the very edge. So I want to kind of put it over here. There we go. It's a bit farther away. Perfect. So there you go. We got a uh, copy paste. Um, we know how to change our grid size. We know how to push in our vertices. And last step is going into pushing our faces. So I'm going to go ahead and change my grid size. I'm going to make some stairs. So I'm make one box right here. Make another box. And make another box. Okay? And these are going to be some really short stairs. But uh, what we can do is push in the face. So that means this whole selected area. So I'm going to go ahead and press F, hold it down. And I'm going to use my scroll wheel and just push it down just a little bit. That's good. Now I'll do the same thing for this side. Make it a little bit higher. A little bit higher. And uh, if we were to keep doing that, we can make uh, some stairs there. So we're kind of going up them. Okay. Uh, you can also do it by individually just making your grid size bigger and smaller depending on you know how steep you want them. Now obviously this is too high for the uh, character to go up. So what I can do is just kind of make my grid size smaller so I have more control over what I want to do. So here we go. This is a better size here. Push the side up. And we could just do that. So there you go. Okay, And we can add a loft if we want to. We can add a lot of different things for our house here. But I'll let you guys sort of figure that out as you guys play around with the software. So that is our first video online tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, want to check out some more stuff, you can visit our website at c3cyberclub.com. Uh, you can also go to uh, Platinum Arts, uh, their website. They have some really great tutorials, some more in-depth stuff. So definitely check it out. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something, and uh, hopefully you see some of our other uh, online video tutorials. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.